Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today we're going to take a look at this Dragon Touch 10 inch digital photo frame. Now this at the moment, as far as I can tell, is only available on Amazon.com and they do have a special offer on. So this is a great time to pick this up for a Christmas present. Kindly sent to me by the manufacturer. This arrived in a big box. It had a power cable with it, a little stand and getting started guide. The little stand just screws into the back and allows this to either be set up as a landscape photo or you can turn it and it becomes a portrait photo. This is essentially an Android tablet made to look like a photograph in a frame. It's got a nice white bezel and black frame surround. Setup was really easy. You simply download the app and power on the frame and just follow the instructions. You pair it with your phone app and that means that you could set this up in advance if you, you've given this to someone, maybe um, an old relative who isn't necessarily gonna load photos on themselves, you can then set this up with your phone and load photos on remotely, so you don't even have to be in the same house. That's a real advantage for me as I currently have to get a USB stick, bring it home, put the pictures on, take the USB stick back, plug it back in. This does have ports for both USB and an SD card slot, and it does have internal memory, and you can send both photos and video to the frame. I was actually very impressed with the photo quality. They look brilliant. You've got a range of options regarding interval timer. You can also set the transition type. There are little speakers in it. The speaker quality is okay. It's fine if you're just gonna send a little video message over. There's a little notification when the video arrives and you can press that and that will play the video back. The menu screen allows you to set this up in a couple of different ways. You can either have it as a full photo or you can select the weather mode that shows you weather predictions alongside a smaller photo. And you've got the same option with calendar. You can see a calendar and a smaller photo. A couple of things this doesn't have that I've seen on other digital photo frames. It doesn't have a motion sensor, so it doesn't automatically turn off if there's nobody in the room. What you can do instead is set an on and off time. So if you only want it on uh, through the day, you could say 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Or you could just have it on in the evenings if you're at work most of the time. You could say you want it on from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It doesn't have integration with social media services so you can't synchronize your Facebook or Instagram photos with this. To get around that simply download the photos to your phone and upload them via the app. It does have something I haven't seen before which is an alarm mode so even though the screen is off so if you've got this by the bed the screen can be off overnight but you can set it so that it comes on automatically and triggers a nice alarm sound to wake you up. The screen can be turned on or off via a switch at the back at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe, join my tech tribe, uh, click like, share, all that kind of stuff. I'll put links to this in the description below. But as I say, I think it's only available amazon.com at the moment. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on my next review.